You guys want to watch us eat some weird food? Yeah. <laughs> what is up guys? My name is John with pptactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. We've got our junior editor, Allison, here today, and we are going to be trying a bunch of different flavors of camping and survival foods, but that would be pretty boring if we just did an outright review of a bunch of freeze-dried food, so we're gonna blindfold ourselves and attempt to guess the flavors. It's summertime, the weather is warming up, and it is time to get outside and hike. Or survive. Uh, we <laughs> <laughs> As always, you can check the description down below for links back to websites where you can purchase these fine frozen foods. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So um, lost, so blind. It's, <laughs> it smells like meat. Uh, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is real good. Is it a, uh, like how solid is this? I can't tell if there's weight on the fork. Okay. It's definitely lukewarm. <laughs> oh yay. It's kind of potato-y. There is very light spice to it. I'm not sure how else to describe it. Yeah, kind of smells a little like spicy dog food. <laughs> kind of <laughs> tastes a little better than that. Definitely lukewarm. This is like a like a meatloaf flavored meatloaf and potatoes. Is that, is that a meal that humans eat? <laughs> chili con carne. Is that what it actually is? I'll say it's probably chili con carne. <laughs> Oh, that's that's really upsetting looking. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> It'll keep you alive, but yeah. I definitely would not look forward to eating that again. Uh, what what ma is what manufacturer is this? MREs. Oh, good. Oh. So it's military beans. Military finest. Not terrible, but yeah, it's MRE food. Uh, it's probably like a five or a six. If you were real sad and cold, it'd probably be pretty okay. But I'm not. So, eh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so immediate reaction is that uh, this feels very small, but it's like the, the density of a neutron star and I don't, that's not confidence inspiring. How malleable is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, I, all right. Ooh, that's like a really aggressive marshmallow smell. It's really chalky. You're selling it. I can't wait for my turn. It's very graham crackery, but it's like the driest thing on the planet. It's like a, it's very vanilla-y too. Feels like picking up a pumice stone, kinda. Definitely wanna take a bite out of that. And then, yeah, it kinda uh, has a weird like cookie marshmallow smell to it. Oh, why is it so dry though, god. Oh my god. It's, um, how, how do I access this nourishment? Okay, we've located the hole. Did <laughs> you just kinda go for it? Whee! That, okay, so that's just water. I think I, in my head, I, I kind of had Something that really. slid my there. <laughs> for being water in a, an envelope, it's great. Help, I have nails. <laughs> is there, is there, uh, like, is this fortified survival water? Is this, this 6,000 cool 6, calories worth of water? <laughs> No? No. Okay. At least it tastes like water. Um, oh, that's got a real... Those taste a lot better than they look. <laughs> real appetizing beige color. <laughs> is this an MRE treat or is this like the survival Christmas bar? I think this is Christmas that 3600 calorie survival bar. Okay, it's not bad. It's not good. Better than the, the MRE chili though, I think. Score out of 10? Like a five. Everything's gonna be a five. <laughs> not horrendous, but like not pleasant. They remind me of those Danish butter cookies that come in the tin. I don't know if it has sewing supplies or not. An overwhelming amount of vanilla extract. <laughs> I'm 
I'm ready for my next meal, papa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a strong yet unidentifiable smell. It just smells like butter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I smell it too now. Like, kind of pumpkin-y? Is this, uh, is this a vegetable slurry? <laughs> like, uh, is my spoon full? It's definitely all up in my grill. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. Um, this one's warmer at least. That is definitely a gravy of some kind. Is it like a biscuit in there? Like the world's mm. driest biscuit? Yeah, that's biscuits and gravy. Okay, this is probably a mountain house one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, my, this tongue remembers yeah. that quality. All I smell is <laughs> butter and like a little bit of black pepper. Yeah, mountain houses are, are generally like a little bit better, but there's definitely a layer of like, surrealness to, to having to smell all of them before you eat them. I don't think that I've ever consumed a mountain house like not in a sleep deprived outdoorsy situation. And I feel like camping in general, camping or hiking makes food taste about a thousand times better. So outside of that, mountain houses just kind of taste like weird diner food. <laughs> yeah. Not, not like terrible, but not appetizing, <laughs> I don't know. At 3 a.m. this would probably be fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's like a lot thicker. You know what, blindfolded this is better. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Definitely better blindfolded. It's uh... I think I feed that to my cat. I don't like that that doesn't really move. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, put your ass in the dirt meal. <laughs> Just to be clear, like, all of this is probably great if you're hiking. Uh, that's better than the other ones, so probably like... I'd say it's kind of an eight, but also I'm kind of known for like not being picky about what I eat. So <laughs> I would probably use this even if I was kind of glamping just because it's easy to put together apparently. Hell yeah. Give me that gray warm stuff, trail buddy. Uh, okay, so we've got a Russian military MRE and we've been told that because the food is totally unidentifiable and everything is in Cyrillic, we don't need uh, blindfolds for it. So some very nice waxy plastic. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> this is like a squad sized MRE. <laughs> okay. Paper napkins. Uh, yeah, I like the one napkin that comes with it. Cool. Here, go for it. All right. There are, there, oh, okay. There actually are multiple spoons. Oh, yay. I want to know like what the, the actual intended application of this is. So this looks like it has meat and maybe like green onions in it. Um. Cool. So we've got like a mystery sauce with congealed meat substance, maybe. This one's taking okay. like serious tools to open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> uh, me oh, upsetting meatballs. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, it'd probably be oh. even better if it wasn't cold. <laughs> yeah, like this uh, looks like maybe <laughs> some sort of beef soup. There's green beans and maybe carrots and little chunks of what looks like meat and kind of a tomato-based sauce. Uh, this is a lot better than I was expecting. It'd probably be even better if it was warm, but Very definitely warm. still super salty though try this horrifying thing. Sure, yeah. That's, uh, that sucks. But visually, I'm, I'm gonna initially give it like, a, just like negative points. This is, <laughs> if you're squeamish about what you're eating uh, based on presentation, maybe you shouldn't be consuming Russian, Russian military uh, canned pâtés, but. Hmm, not as big of a fan as this one. It's like a weird, definitely meat, but also very string bean and like a weird, almost licorice -y taste to it. That's not my favorite combination of flavors. <laughs> I think I'm cool on this one. Um, what else? This one has such a weird texture. Like they're meatballs, but really, they're really like old. Let's, let's, yeah, let's just do like a whole spread here. 
It's a ton of crackers. Some sort of Sauce? Spread? Yeah. Don't know. Maybe tell let. Oh, found my favorite part. Here's the chocolate. This might be like coffee, instant coffee or some such. There's a lot more tiny accessories. These might be like the, the heating packets. Okay, so I'm not very good at guessing these, but I'm pretty sure this one's applesauce. <laughs> Kind of sloshy, what was has the, an apple on the top. What was the giveaway? Uh, this actually I think is coffee, so I don't know what the elephant condom shaped wrapper is, but. It's tea, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna say tea. Oh, that's a good one. The only indicators are mysterious pale pink logs on the front. <laughs> I'm gonna say Russian spam. Oh, that's probably pretty accurate. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh no. You're, no, you're all on your own there. <laughs> That's yum. Getting hungry for <laughs> mystery goop. <laughs> this oh, that uh, is horrifying. Oh, it smells like Play Doh. Is this uh, it's got to be like some sort of wheat product then, like a like a gelatinized bread, or is it like bread pudding? Oh my God, holy shit. I think it's potatoes, but it's the saltiest thing on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's, to, yes, thank you. Yes, more survival I need water. more Coast Guard water, oh you God. have to. I have to? Yeah, it's, it's, oh. it's so salty. It's, it just tastes like salted dough. <laughs> like, uh, it's kind of flaky and has like texture inside of it. Um, it kind of almost reminds me a little bit of like canned tuna, the, the chunk texture. It's so salty. <laughs> I think it's like, this is supposed to be like some sort of, I don't know, breakfast grain or something. Oh, it's horrifying. Not that horrifying. Yeah, it's, so that, that sucks. Yeah, no, like, we're gonna put that far away. <laughs> there is artwork on the lid. The, the resolution is so low that it, we're really just guessing. <laughs> There's some red stuff in a fancy plate. There's a little meat tendril that's kind of sticking out <laughs> in a sea of orange grease here. So that's That looks great. super healthy. Um, it smells familiar. <laughs> Maybe like eggplant of some kind? Not terrible. It, that might be good with like the crackers, honestly. I do, yeah. I think it's like an eggplant spread. Some horrifying take on baba ganoush. Oh, you know what? I bet that is it, yeah. That's, that's not terrible. Don't know what that is. We got some... Apple smush. Apple oh. in a bag. Ooh. Okay, so this one does not have any pictures on it whatsoever, so... They just don't want to prepare you. We're in the danger zone now. Oh, oh, you know what? This is probably Kasha. Yeah, okay. So this looks like it sucks. Kasha is basically like a like a Russian like oatmeal. So this is, if, if this is what I think it is. If I remember correctly, Kasha is like buckwheat. I've actually had it before, but. Yeah. It's just a salted grain. Um, it's very like. Yeah, kind of, it smells like wheat berries. Smells like salt. Wake up and have your bowl of kasha in the morning and then go plow the fields until sundown kind of meal. Not terrible. Um, again, another another one of those, like this is very dense. And if for whatever reason you were eating this in a scenario that you had to go and then be active afterwards, I, I feel like you'd just be moving real slow. This is like <laughs> a sleepy time meal. We have some applesauce here, which is definitely confirmed applesauce. That's <laughs> a, a, a very, Appetizing. How, how is applesauce bad? How do you how describe? Is bad? What is this color? What is there a word that exists for this exact color? <laughs> so I'm not super sure. It's it's a little <laughs> caramel colored, but yeah, I definitely don't recommend that one. Don't know what this is. Certified 100% plant picture. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is like a like a pork, maybe a horse pate. Lots of, lots of delicious like cat food textured meat <laughs> here. Yum. Yeah, it's like pork pate. I've had a lot of pork pate before. I haven't encountered one in which the meat is simultaneously wet 
and soft, but also dry. <laughs> like it enters your mouth and I feel like there's a distinct like film on my tongue now. <laughs> Is that? Oh, mm. so pass it to me. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of got like a sheen of grease on top, but the part where you scooped it out, you can definitely see it's dry <laughs> underneath. Uh, it definitely looks like something I fed my cat before. Gotta lubricate that gullet. It's a bad combination of words. It tastes like Vienna sausage, but worse somehow. <laughs> um, this one is unique in that it's got like a ring of goop <laughs> with a meat-like substance solely in the center. Oh, this one is oh, wants to fight hard. a little bit. Got a, a nice ring of Probably fat on the outside there. Oh, okay. This is just, this is also just like a like a breakfast sausage almost. Visually kind of sucks, but uh, flavor isn't terrible. In fact, if you mix it in with the buckwheat, it'd probably be pretty good. Um, I will say, like, flavor palette is you know it's it's very Russian. It's very. Um, very salted, like even more aggressively than, than American camping food. Not really an ideal situation for probably either hiking or, or survival, just with the amount of trash this generates is, is, is pretty wild, but um, pack it in, pack it out, etc. Oh, that's, uh, so it's like, it's like a berry salt. I was expecting more of like a Kool-Aid mix and it's like very like crystallized and granulated. This looks like drugs. I don't know what the suggested serving size is, so. All of it? Maybe like that. Oh, it's oh that's most of it. <laughs> Definitely don't process, like but... go through an airport with Russian flavor packets. You you will end up in the TSA black site. I can, you can hear the flavor crystals like refusing to dissolve with the amount of water that's in here. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> what is it? It's just, just pink electrolytes. Like if you let a LaCroix go flat, it's like a distant memory of raspberries. That was most of this. Am I just like, am I just gonna be the most electrolyte man on the planet? <laughs> like, yeah, that's weird. I don't know if you wanna give that a go. It's like. But it definitely is raspberry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we've got, what is this, like Dayquil? Oh, we've got the mystery tablet. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a lot of mystery tablets in here, quite honestly. I don't like that everything else appears to be for like multiple people and then there's just, just one ominous, the forbidden vitamin. <laughs> what is, we've got oh this God, last thing. Oh, is this like a, like a custard? It's always a surprise because you think it's gonna be sweet and then it's not. Let's play, is it me? <laughs> <laughs> It looks that looks great. Flan, but not good. Not in a good way. I think this might be a dessert of some kind. Yes, yeah, so this might be like a custard of some kind. I see why they include so many spoons. It's in not heaven. a custard. <laughs> oh, it's cheese. <laughs> <laughs> because of course it is. It's like a Russian military take on Lunchables cheese. It's not bad. It's just another one of those things where I'm like, oh yeah, it's probably a nice dessert. Oh, spreadable cheese. Again, very thick. Um, I am worried about even taking one or two bites here and there. The the amount of calories and sodium I'm putting into my body is is probably suboptimal. Kind of reminds me of, like that canned cheese that you spray. Yeah, but in a but in a, non in a denser form. Yes. Um. Looks wise or taste wise? Yeah, taste wise, it's actually surprisingly not terrible. It's pretty good. Uh, if, if you're like squeamish with textures um, or visually like upsetting food is, is going to make you not hungry, it's probably just wanna stay away from any kind of Russian food. I like it more than, um, than the sad beans you, you fed us earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, overall it's, 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 uh, it's not bad. So uh, the best one so far? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what the appropriate like portioning is, so I don't, I, you know, if you sat down in the woods and just ate all of this, like you're gonna you die. die, you're gonna <laughs> die, you're not leaving the forest. So next up we've got uh, 
these like dystopian government issued nutrient bricks. When you pick up a thing and it's just so much heavier than it looks like it should be, it it's that's that's how you know that it's got the vitamins. That, oh my god! <laughs> Considering this is this is probably like at least twenty thousand calories, I'm just gonna take, take a little nibble. So dry. It's like eating vanilla cake batter, but before you put anything in that makes it batter. It just doesn't taste like anything. Like I wish that there were adjectives that I could give this beyond dry, crumbly. Really floury. If you just baked flour itself into a cake with like no other additives, I think you'd probably get something pretty close to this. Maybe if you were like thinking of vanilla, that that's about the, the flavor. I'm assuming this is one of the super like Super dense, caloric. Uh, yeah, which was your favorite bar? The last one. Honestly, the last one, because at least they like bothered to try to assign it a flavor. This is like very, this like I said, like very like dystopian, like. It's, yeah. This is your caloric allotment for the month. Like make do citizen. I mean, you could probably run your body off of this for quite some time before you died of exposure. I feel like it also would come in handy for self-defense. Ah. It's <laughs> so heavy that if you just huck it at someone, they're gonna get a concussion. Yeah, you could just like grind it up into like a dust and then throw pocket like sand. pocket nutrients. <laughs> yeah, you know, ideally if you're going camping, uh, Unless you're doing some sort of weird survival training thing, like you want to go outside and have fun and like enjoy your meals and and not subject yourself to like it's food, but without any of the parts that make food fun. <laughs> I'm gonna say like a pretty big no on the nutrient brick, uh, unless you you absolutely had to for whatever reason, like like maybe like a like a four. It gets bonus points for not being salty. <laughs> so I was gonna say I'm like that's. A little more generous than I was gonna go. I was gonna say two out of 10, and okay. the two is only because it has some sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> probably the vast majority of you um, that are not super physically active, you probably don't need like 10,000 calories in one sitting, so I wouldn't. pretty hot. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, smells like beef broth or some sort of high sodium soup. Oh. It's weird that it's that hot, but whatever I just chewed on didn't feel like it was cooked all the way. Uh, is it like a vegetable soup of some kind? Mm. Um, it tastes really like watered down. Mm -hmm. There's some flavor there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the, <laughs> the blindfold off. Um, oh, I definitely I think what I was chewing on was a pea that still <laughs> had a dehydrated center. Is there there is meat in this, right? It kind of reminds me of like cup of noodles, the little sad dried veggies and meat on top. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. I guess there was a meat shortage when they put this together. There's like, this is all up in my face now, so that's cool. I'm gonna, okay. All the vegetables are really chewy. It's throwing me off though, because it's the consistency is like real thick. It's kind of like an oatmeal thing going on, but it's definitely got the dollar store ramen flavor profile. Um, I don't know if you, Yum. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's just like- it, it's, it's, it's definitely like, got a thickener in it, but it doesn't yeah, have nothing for flavor. Thickener. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely like, like, like cream of ramen, which, which <laughs> is, which sucks. I, I don't want to say it's the worst thing that we've eaten so far, but it's, it's just so bland and, and compared to a, Previously where like, you know, you bite into a thing or you take a sip of something and you're expecting one flavor and you get another This is like it's an incredibly familiar flavor, but with a, a, a brand new consistency uh, so uh. Was this one of the the poorly rated ones? No. Oh, this one. really oh boy. Oh wow sky's the limit <laughs> uh, Yeah, I that wouldn't be my favorite thing if I was uh, out on the trail or uh, desperately clinging to life. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like a, like a three or a four. 
I assume that this is just an absurd amount of carbs, probably also fat and sodium, but like no protein. Uh, it feels yeah. maybe a little bit late in the game to start rating these foods on uh, how nutritious they are. This is probably not gonna do you any favors, so I would, I would probably pretty hard pass on that one. Oh, this is pungent. Why does this smell like Indian food? Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> Why are the vegetables so hard? <laughs> the soup substance itself is like scalding, but the, the vegetables still feel and taste like they're totally uncooked. <laughs> um, that's a real weird combination of like really aggressive smell backed with like no flavor. <laughs> Is it um? Is it some sort of like, is, of broccoli or like a corn? Mm. Is it like corn soup? Again with the white brown thing. Is it a potato gratin? Yeah, kind of potato. Okay. I feel like if this had some bacon and some cheese and like a little sour cream, it'd be good. Yeah, I'm confounded. I smelled it and I was like, oh, this is like. It smells really like it has a lot going and, on. Like spiced smelling. Yeah, like it almost has like a weird like tandoori spice and just none of that is there when you bite into it. Yeah, I don't, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I would not eat this unless I like had no other options here. I, I also don't like that it starts to form these nice billowing rolls when you tilt it. That, that sucks. It's already um, got a skin on it. Yeah. Uh, the combination of like lack of flavor plus just like real dry, hard, crunchy vegetables is not doing anything for me. I'm gonna give this like a two. It gets points for presumably it not, calories, not being poisoned. <laughs> Probably will not kill you, asterisk. Yeah, if, if you're doing like a camp out thing and, and you're gonna make like a big like pot stew or something like that or hobo cookout, you could probably use this as a base and put actual human ingredients in it and, and you might end up with something better than terrible. <laughs> I gotta agree with that too. I mean, I love potatoes, but that's just... Kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we ate a little bit of everything, and we wanted to give some parting thoughts here. Uh, I think for me personally, best overall is probably going to be the Mountain House meals. Um, they are not terrible, and if you're gonna go out into the woods, maybe on a, a multi-day hike, three, four days, or something like that, and you have the ability to make boiling hot water with something like a jet boil, um, they're not bad. And some of the flavors are better than others, uh, but they are certainly not in the realm of disgusting. Flavor-wise, I think I probably enjoyed the Russian MRE. Uh, a lot more than I thought I would, and it has been pointed out to me that those are supposed to be eaten warm, which we didn't do, uh, so maybe you did get even better, as long as you're, you know, not squeamish with textures. What did you think, Allison? I think the Mountain House probably has my vote for like best all around food. If you have the access to make boiling water, it really is the best flavor and probably the best texture out of the things we tried. Uh, the Russian MRIs were surprisingly good, but I think in a survival situation, if I was gonna pack food that was small and easy to carry, those tins would not be it. I'm rather small, so I think I would probably go for the um, SOS food bars, which are the first ones we tasted. Tastes a little more like a cookie and a little less floury. And I know 3,600 calorie bars are more than enough to keep me walking if I need to. Yeah, for sure. And obviously like this is going over a lot of information with a lot of different types of food that are all kind of intended for slightly different purposes. So um, we're very base level here. This is not super in depth. Uh, and obviously like don't go put yourself in a survival situation uh, based on this video I would hope that none of you are silly enough to do that Additionally, this is maybe a little bit different uh, of a format a video for us We're trying some new stuff out So let us know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this and if you would like to see more sort of hiking outdoors survival oriented video content Thank you guys for watching once again. My name is John with PP Tactical. And this is Allison, and we will see you guys next time <laughs>